Good morning and welcome to St Andrews and the Grange here in Guernsey. This is a pre-recording for Palm Sunday, Sunday the 5th of April 2020 in the midst of the coronavirus crisis. A call to worship. Let us enter the city of God today to sing hosannas to our King. Let us turn our backs on the powers that grasp and control and open our hearts to the Son of God riding on a donkey. Let us join his parade, surrounded by outcasts and sinners, the blind and the leper. Let us follow the one who brought freedom and peace and walked in solidarity with the abandoned and the oppressed. Let us shout for joy at Christ's coming and join his disciples, welcoming the broken, healing the sick, dining with outcasts. Let us touch and see as God draws near, riding in triumph towards the cross. Let us worship God. Let us sing to his praise and to his glory. A couple of verses from him, 364. All glory, Lord and honour to you, Redeemer King, to whom the lips of children made sweet Hosanna sing. given up to the chief priests and the doctors of the law. They will condemn him to death and hand him over to a foreign power. Lord our God, on this day Jesus, your Son, entered Jerusalem, the centre of politics, the capital of religion, the heart of the nation's life. For you are the God who is always pressing at the centre and striking at the heart of things. In the marketplace where people buy and sell and trade. In the boardroom where people wheel and deal and bargain. In the law courts where people probe and debate and judge. In the school and the college where people teach and learn and discuss. In the council chamber where people argue and plan and compromise. In the home where people grow and share and create. In the church, where people pray and worship. Today, Lord God, there are only two of us in your church. 
For we know that we are praying with the whole church, the church Catholic, the church universal, as together we pray the Lord's Prayer together in saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. First reading is from Psalm 31, verse 9 to 16. Be merciful to me, Lord, for I am in distress. My eyes grow weak with sorrow, my soul and my body with grief. My life is consumed by anguish and my years by groaning. My strength fails because of my affliction and my bones grow weak. Because of all my enemies, I am the utter contempt of my neighbours and an object of dread to my closest friends. Those who see me on the street flee from me. I am forgotten as though I were dead. I have become like broken pottery. For I hear many whispering terror on every side. They conspire against me and plot to take my life. But I trust in you, Lord. I say, you are my God. My times are in your hands. Deliver me from the hands of my enemies, from those who pursue me. Let your face shine on your servant. Save me in your unfailing love. chapter 21, verses 1 through 11. As they approached Jerusalem and came to Bethphage on the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two disciples, saying to them, Go to the village ahead of you, and at once you will find a donkey tied there with her coat by her. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, say that the Lord needs them, and he will send them right away. This took place to fulfill what was spoken through the prophet. Say to daughter Zion, See, your king comes to you, gentle and riding on a donkey, and on a colt, the foal of a donkey. The disciples went and did as Jesus had instructed them. They brought the donkey and the colt and placed their cloaks on them for Jesus to sit on. A very large crowd spread their cloaks on the road, while others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road. The crowds that went ahead of him and those that followed shouted, 
Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest heaven. When Jesus entered Jerusalem, the whole city was stirred and asked, Who is this? The crowds answered, This is Jesus, the prophet from Nazareth in Galilee. Thanks be to God. My text for this Palm Sunday service, the 5th of April 2020, comes from Psalm number 31, Psalm 31 and the ninth verse. Be merciful to me, Lord, for I am in distress. What a powerful prayer for Palm Sunday and for this time in the midst of the COVID-19 crisis. I decided that when we entered this period of social isolation and social distancing, we needed a handrail, a handrail to comfort and to support. And where better to find that than in the Psalms? For it is the Psalms that people often turn to in times of need and in crisis. Here is a person who believes, who really trusts, and who finds what we all find, that it is not God's plan for us that we should ever be presented with doubts and problems. Unless we meet these head on and overcome them, then our faith will never be as strong as God plans us to be. The psalmist often uses words like rock, fortress or refuge to decide the presence of God. But it's also quick to use more personal language to convey the idea of God's hand guiding us, God's arm supporting us in our time of need. In Psalm 31 verses 15 and 16 we read, My times are in your hands. Deliver me from the hands of my enemies, from those who pursue me. Let your face shine on your servant. Save me in your unfailing love. This week I've been thinking quite a lot about who we are as a congregation, how we are seen by others, and how often we identify and others identify with us. The reputation of St Andrews and the Grange is of a faithful, welcoming, caring and loving congregation who are prepared to roll up their sleeves and to get things done. We are by design a church that lives and seeks to a place where all are welcome under the motto of open hearts, open minds and open faith. As I've said before, there is no hint of dourness a disposition often attributed to the Scots, especially by others. The dour man is ever observant of the rugged side of life. And in the current climate, aren't there plenty of rugged edges to trap us? On Palm Sunday we embark on the last act in the drama of the life of Jesus. It is the festival of the Passover, when, in Jerusalem and the surrounding area, it was packed with pilgrims. It was the law that every male, adult male Jew who lived within reach of Jerusalem must come to the city for the Passover. Jews from far and wide made their way to the holy city for the greatest national festival of the year. There is little doubt that Jesus could not have chosen a more dramatic moment to enter the city at a time when religious fervour and expectations were at their height. This is no act of a showman or a spur of the moment idea. It had been foretold by the prophet Zechariah. It had been prearranged and prepared. And when the disciples were sent to collect a donkey, the owner knew the prearranged signal, signal. The Lord needs them. That was the sign. So Jesus rode into Jerusalem on a humble donkey, not on a war horse, and the crowds received him like a king. They spread their cloaks in front of him, and John's Gospel tells us that some cut down palm branches and waved them in praise and celebration, shouting together, Hosanna to the Son of David, 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest heaven. Hosanna means save now. It was a cry for help from a people in deep distress, in need of a saviour. And yet, it was these same crowds who, before too long, would be back on the streets shouting, Crucify him! Crucify him! Crucify the King of the Jews! Today, Palm Sunday marks the beginning of Holy Week, when we remember the Passion of our Lord. It is a time when the Church marks the triumphant entry of Jesus into Jerusalem riding on a donkey. It was an act of courage and humility, and as the crowds gathered, they were eager to identify with him by throwing their cloaks on the road. St. Paul says Christian love flows from the free disposition to unseek concern for self as the driving force of life and to replace it with a practical concern for others. And how much of that we have seen here on the island and in wider society at this time of national and international crisis. People putting others before self. Christ is the exemplar of humility and selfless commitment, a model example for Christians to follow. It was Paul who introduced the story of Jesus to encourage the Philippians to humility and mutual respect by looking at him. And he urged them not to worry about their own interests or dignity, but simply to leave it to God. For Paul, living the Christian life, emanates from the risen Lord, who we celebrate at Easter. So my friends, during this Holy Week, can we invite you to take home your palm cross, to put it in a prominent place, to remind yourself and others that we identify with Christ, a man of great courage, a man who suffered that others might live, a man who put others before self, a man of humility, who died but rose again to glory, to God the Father. Thanks be to God. Amen. With that reflection for Palm Sunday, we come now to our prayers of concern, where we pray for the Church and we pray for others at this time of great need. So let us pray together. Let us pray to God, who alone makes us dwell in safety. For all who are affected by coronavirus, through illness or isolation or anxiety, that they may find relief and recovery. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Let us pray for all those who are guiding our nation at this time, for those who are shaping national policies, that they may make, make wise decisions. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Let us pray for all those who work in our health service. We pray for doctors and nurses and medical researchers that through their skill and insight, many will be restored to full health. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Let us pray for the vulnerable and the fearful, for all those who are gravely ill and those who are dying, that they may know the comfort and the peace of God. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Heavenly Father, we commend ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God. Merciful Father, accept these and all our prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen.
Our concluding hymn for Palm Sunday is the hymn 365, two verses of 365, the first and the last. Ride on, ride on in majesty.